Hey, what's up everyone? So I want to give an update on what I was talking about earlier. I still feel quite drained, but not to the point where I did earlier. I've got some videos to show where I, uh, my legs, these sores just kept, just suddenly popped up and they just popped up all over my legs and I, I've been, my legs have been bleeding. Now I did do a lot of yard work yesterday outside. I was, I was picking up a bunch of sticks and limbs and things and we were mowing and I was trying to get things done outside so I could have picked up, I should, could have gotten some of those problems outside but when I was at the Pilot Travel Center, took a shower there, I uh, started bleeding constantly. I took video of that and some pictures but last night it's like everything went wrong after that weird spiritual occurrence with uh, spiritual energy and I um, I got drained well what's weird is that house is the distance but I was focusing at it and then I got this weird connection weird feeling and then it drained me more than I would like at all I mean I would I don't like being drained but it was it was a feeling I didn't like so after that I went back and tried to send that energy back I didn't know what happened but I uh, I felt restless the whole night and so I I um, I I just uh, felt very restless. I was just having sharp pains and achiness and just like restless, just constantly restless the whole the whole night. And this morning, then we had to go. And when I left this morning, um, I felt slightly better later. Interestingly, this, this Somalian black guy spoke to me and my father today. Well, actually, he spoke to me first. And he was saying, he said, get the Powerball. He told me to get the Powerball, man. I was like, okay. He just told me to get the Powerball and get the uh, uh, Mega Millions. He's like, get the ticket, man. And I was like, okay. You know, he's just like insisted. And he's like, uh, you need shower? You want me to get out? He just randomly asked. And I said, oh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. I got one. And he's like, uh, because my father's a truck driver, and I don't know who he was, but he told me later, he said, this your dad, this your father? I said, that is, ah, that's what I thought. He said, I thought so. And he said, uh, he said, we used to play soccer together a lot of the time. He said, he and I back in, we used to play in the stadium, we'd play soccer together. And uh, he said, we all used to play soccer all the time together. Good times, man. He said, I'll never forget it. And we were like, okay. And he said, good to see you again, brother. Bless you. And uh, there's been a lot of um, of uh, people of that uh, particular ethnicity who have uh, who have been really nice to us lately. A lot of black people have been very kind. This black woman went out of her way to help my mama and be kind to her. And they've been they usually are pretty nice to me. Uh, other ethnicities and stuff. They sense my energy and things like that. But. I'll tell you that, that that was interesting. He he acted like he knew us, and I'm like, well, not from this life. He said uh, he said we used to play soccer together, and it was so weird. It was interesting. He said, uh, yes, we did. He just knew us, and he knew. He said that's your father. I knew that's your father. How would he know that? How would he know? How would he know my daddy? And he knew. He said we used to play soccer together, and all these types of things. Anyway. Um, Football, as they call it. So, yeah. Anyway. He said, if you win, help out, man. Help people out, you know. It was really weird. He said, you buy me a truck, man. He said, if you win, I hold you to that. Buy me a truck. And he said, help people. I said, if I win, I'll help people out. That's for sure. And he said, ah, that's good, man. And uh, he said, well, bless you. And all kinds of things like that. It was just really interesting. He talked like this right there, man. You know, the Somalian people. And it's uh, it's just interesting to see the connection of different people. And uh, But that drain that I've had, I've been so drained. I had an interesting experience where the dream that I had was like I was in this simulation situation where it was like this woman was in control of it. It was like a nightmare situation, but we all had to go back to our body. We had to go back to... We could. We had to choose at the end after we 
were able to overcome the fear. Uh, there was just monstrous things going on, and it was like bloody stuff and monstrous things in this in this dream I had. And time went by really slowly during those dreams, but this was two nights ago. And it's like I chose to stay in that simulation, the game type of simulation. And the woman said, it's up to you. Everyone else went back through the door, went back to their bodies. And they said something about the parents got paid, like five, the people, the, the, the parents or whoever got paid $5 to let them uh, to play that game simulation or something like that. I don't know, it was really weird, but that's the dream I had. This is on to another topic, but they they got to, um, they lived this simulation, I was in it too, and when we overcame that fear, then we accomplished what we were needed to accomplish, what we needed to accomplish, and once I finished, I was like, well, I don't know what's on the other side, I had no idea, I didn't know, in that, in that dream, I didn't know about this body, I didn't know about this life, I didn't remember any of this, I had no knowledge about any of this. None of it, as usual in dreams. But I didn't know whether the life that I was going to have outside that door that I was going to... It's kind of like The Hollow, if you've ever watched that on Netflix, that cartoon, that uh, animated adventure. It's kind of an adult adventure cartoon, but not really. It could be for two people of all ages. But it's called The Hollow. But it's kind of like that. That's what that was like, what it reminded me of. I haven't watched it in a while. I finished it months ago but that's what it reminded me of I had the option to go back through that door or not go back through the door and go back to the body to my life and I went I said what if my life out there is worse than the one I'm in now in the simulation this game simulation she said whatever and she no longer was this evil woman or whatever like she was like a witch evil witch she was no longer that after the game simulation had ended she was just her ordinary self but they were still a simulation and so I chose not to go back. I chose to stay, and I was a different person, by the way, completely different guy. And me and this other, this girl, she chose to stay. So me and this this girl chose to stay there. And the woman said, she's like, well, that's your choice. And then it's like there were glitches. And I was like, wait a minute. I, and I kept having flashbacks. And it, it was supposed to be over with. I was supposed to have forgotten about all of that, but I kept having flashbacks of that of the nightmare situations. There was blood all over my face and it was like horrible situations of the the evil attacks that were taking place and the violence that was happening during that simulation, simulated game. And so I was thinking, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I, this was supposed to be, you know, all that was supposed to be over with and now it's peaceful. I'm just kind of walking around in, in the game. I'm supposed to just be kind of living freely in the game now. The game situation or whatever I was in. This situ simulation I was in. And then, right after that, I was like, wait a minute, this isn't supposed to happen. And I was still having those flashbacks, and it's like there were leaks, there were glitches in it, where there were still going to be those fearful situations happening. But I chose not to go through the door, through the portal, to go back to the body, because I didn't know what might be on the other side, because I didn't remember the life that I was in. So that was weird, but anyway, that, that dream I had, and the Somalian guy, and the the, the different situations and the draining of energy, the spirit energy. There was a lot of spirit activity in the house. Yesterday, there was a lot of spirit activity in the house. There was movements around, slapping, tapping. The cat was seeing things. And and then I was drained. I looked at the house up, up the road, or down the road from here. I looked at that house, and the, as I got into a stare at the light, Red had to go out and do his business at 2.15 in the morning. And then, so I let him go right over there. I let him go right there in between the pines out there at the road and their house is that way and so their lights started flickering and then it was like draining and then I just focused and I was like huh the lights going out I wonder if I could and it almost went completely out supernaturally and it just I looked away it came back too but the energy I could see a bright white aura of energy around the property and everywhere so then I felt this negativity and I had to get rid of that so that's what happened with me and then that simulation dream and then all that stuff. But anyway, may the Lord bless you all. I love you all so much. And I had all this crazy stuff going on. I have been so drained out of breath. I'm also out of breath. Shortness of breath is another thing. But anyway, uh, I love you so much. I love you all. My subscribers are just amazing. I, I could not imagine a better YouTube family. 
Peace, sweet dreams. I love you, all. sweet dreams to everyone tonight. Hope you rest well. And uh, if you're resting right now and it's late, sweet dreams to you. If you're awake, then hope you're having a great day. And if you're just whichever, whatever, you know, um, different times for all of us right now. And to those going through what's going on in the Middle East, love and prayers, positive energy, because it's ridiculous. There's no reason for all this violence. There's no reason for this bigotry greed violence hate and just there's no reason for all that none so anyway i love you all hey they were the mr t flag down the road and an, Amer and an american flag anyway yeah there's no reason for all that all that hate anyway peace signing out